In this final tutorial, we'll show you how to add attributes to your shape files. In our case, we're going to look at the, the roads that we've created. And under transportation, we want to add attributes to give the, the names of those roads in there. So I will uh, right click on open attribute table. That's where the table is located. This is going to show you all the features that are currently listed um, under the attribute table. And so we have all these are polylines. It's going to give you what type of shape it is. So it's either polyline, polygon, or point. And it's going to give you the idea. And we want to add some more columns in here. Now notice that you can go in here and I can select um, any of these lines here and this will help me reference which one is important. Now first thing I need to do when I'm uh, adding in attributes is I need to go adding a new column for attributes is I want to make sure that we're currently not editing. So make sure that you're not editing. We'll go back into that attribute table and under the upper left hand tab you'll click and see that there are multiple things we can do in here and the thing we want to do is add a field. So I'll add a field this field is, we'll just call it road underscore name. So road name, again, there you can't use spaces in here. And this is short, long integer. So if you're using values, and you can do double, and these are for other numerical formats, and text is the one that we want. And we'll click OK. You can see now that we have included a new, um, new attribute here. And so there we go. And so we've included that. Now you'll notice if I double click in here or click in there and type numbers, nothing's going in at this point. So um, what we need to do is go back out into editor and now we will start editing. And if I go into the open app to table again, now I can type in uh, what names they are. So again, you can click to a certain one and realize if you double click, it'll actually zoom to that specific one so I can zoom to any of these specific ones and if I know what they are I can just type in the name so we'll just uh, of course these are incorrect here but we will just uh, list in some names here Oops. So we'll just list in a couple of those there, and we'll close that out, and then the editor will stop editing, and we'll say, yes, we want to save our edits. So if I go back into the attribute table, you can see that we do indeed have the street names on there, and now we've got to figure out how to uh, locate them there on, on the labels. Currently, if I go in and right-click, you can see that we can label features. And if I label them, faintly you can see in here that there's actually numbers in there. So there's a numbers in the middle of each one that's represented. So instead of those numbers, though, we want to make sure that we're actually labeling it with the correct label of the road name. So I will go into, uh, go into properties again. So click all the way down to the end of properties. This is where we've done symbology in the past, and now we will look at labels. So typically this comes up with symbology. You're going to click all the way over here to labels, and this is going to give you the label field. We want to change that to road name instead of the idea that ID was just giving us a number. You can t change the text symbol and placement options. We can do above or below, on the line, uh, all sorts of options for how we want to do that. And we want to keep that orientation parallel. We'll click OK there. This is a little bit darker, so we're actually going to give a uh, a bright green color just so we can see if we can see it and let's give that a shot and see um, how that works. So we'll click OK. Sure enough there come our road names and you'll notice that they are located in the middle of each of those. So there's various options for uh, displaying that. That'll give you an idea of how to go in and change those various options.